If you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you either want to or are in the process of studying for your CompTIA Security Plus exam. I recently passed mine first time with three weeks worth of revision um, and I want you to kind of share what I'd learned with you. I'm gonna cover three topics. Firstly, study. So like what I studied, how I studied. Second, any like tips and tricks from my journey. And then lastly, what the exam was actually like. One caveat here is just make sure you know your learning style. So I'm much more of a video audio person as opposed to reading. So very minimal reading in my study material. So I've got my little piece of paper here. I'm gonna read through the things and I'm also gonna put them in the um, description box below so you can have easy links to it. Firstly, the course objectives. I feel like this is 100% must. So there's like a PDF that you can get from the CompTIA website that outlines all the different topics under the different headers. That is everything you need to know. So by the end of your study period, you should know, be familiar with everything on that page. So use that as your holy grail guide. Next is Professor Messer's videos. So I watched all his videos and that's what I used as an understanding of the core concepts. I also purchased Professor Messer's exams. So he does a few bundles. So you can do his notes and his ex exams, but I just, just got the exam. Next, I used the Pocket Prep. Um, there's an app, so I'll put the app below. You do have to pay for it, um, but I use that for kind of like quick fire questions. I found like a good summary note from a website called Exam Digest which I also put below, which I found super helpful. They had questions at the end of each module, which helped kind of test you along. So I use those. I also use YouTube for questions. So I just typed in CompTIA questions and those like pop quizzes or kind of different ways to learn. So I use YouTube quite heavily in my process as well. And then lastly, I used Reddit. So I never used Reddit before, but um, whenever I Googled the exam or like to get more information, Reddit was super helpful. So yeah, Reddit, there's a subreddit all about CompTIA. So um, yeah, definitely check that out if you wanna kind of hear from other people's experiences as well. So that covers all the materials I use. Let me talk a bit about how I use them in the three weeks. Tip number one, set yourself a deadline. So I set myself, so I did mine at the end of, I started at the beginning of, well, kind of the beginning of July and set myself an end of July deadline. I booked the exam for that last week, knowing that I can, you can move within 24 hours. So um, yeah, I booked it to make sure I had something I was 100% working towards. Next, when watching the press message of videos, get through them as quickly as possible. I was listening to them on my commute. I was listening to them in the shower. When I woke up, when I went to sleep, get through them. I think there's a hundred, 200 and something videos power through them as quickly as possible. That would give you a good understanding of the breadth of the material that you need to know. And it does get quite repetitive as you go through. A lot of things you've heard before will come back. So don't worry too much if you don't get something, write it down and note, note it for when you come back, um, when you've got through the material. So you kind of know where to go back to. So yeah, get through the videos and the body of the content as quickly as possible. What I found is there were some areas that clicked with me easier than others. So I spent less time focusing on them. Um, and also, if you look at the um, exam objectives, it talks about the percentage weighting. So you kind of know which areas you probably should know more than others. Something I did, maybe a bit um, controversial, was leave all the acronyms, acronyms and learn important numbers towards the end. You pick them up over time because if you're doing practice questions and you read materials, you kind of pick up acronyms that come um, more easily to you. So you don't have to go sit down and learn them. At the end, when there's ones that you keep coming across that you don't know, that's when you should kick in and learn them. And I used study cards, I got all mine here. I used study cards for um, port numbers, for acronyms, as well as just like things like, I couldn't get jump server. I couldn't figure out what jump server was. So things like that, where I just kind of needed to repeat that into my mind. So in the last week, I really focused on getting my cards and then rehearsing them and practicing them every day. Another tip is start doing questions as early as possible. So I think one thing that's really key to passing this exam is learning how CompTIA were their questions. It's, it's multiple choice, but you need to, you need to understand <laughs> how they phrase it. So it's kind of one of those exams where multiple questions could be right, but you need to get the most right one. So 
do as much as you can to kind of understand how CompTIA were their questions. There's loads of videos on YouTube, especially the ones where people explain how they um, came up with the answers. So in Professor Messer's exam questions, he gives an explanation as to what the answers are. So you to kind of get your brain into thinking the way the CompTIA exam is written, and that will really help you along the way. Another thing I did, especially when question, when, when working through questions, was understanding, like talking myself through the answer. So if there was a question, I'd be like, okay, it can't be this one because X, Y, Z, and it can't be that because X, Y, Z. And that allows you to kind of reiterate in your mind what, what you know or what you don't know, and it helps you kind of narrow down what is the right answer and what isn't. So that's another tip. Okay, next up is my experience on the day. So I live in London. I decided to go to a test centre I don't trust my internet connection. <laughs> so um, I was like, let me go to a test center. One thing is think about your test center. Think about the area you're going to. So my test center was unfortunately in a school. It was on the weekend, but there was some school activities. So it was actually very noisy and loud. So I'd recommend really thinking through where your test center is located. Also give yourself a lot of time to find the test center ahead of time if you choose to go down that route. In approaching the exam, I did what a lot of people say to do and leave the PBQs to the end. So there was two, I had 77 questions in total, two PBQs and um, the rest were the multiple choice questions. And one thing in the in the practice, I assumed there'd be 90 questions. So when it came to it, I was able to go a little bit slower. It took me the full time. I was asking questions to the last minute, but um, it was more of a chilled pace and allowed me to really think through things in a bit more depth. I would say there was quite a few questions. I was actually like, hmm, I think I know the answer to this, but I'm not sure. So I really took the time to think it through and go through kind of what I'd practiced and what I'd learned. Um, but there's also a lot of questions that I thought, okay, I 100% know that. So th there is gonna be a breadth of questions, some which are simple and quote unquote obvious, and some which do are kind of length and require a bit more thought. So I ended up getting a 782, which I'm really, really happy with. 750 is a pass mark and I don't know if they do this normally, but in the test center, when you click finish, they ask you like questions on like how you found it, how you found the experience. I was like, oh my gosh, get me through these questions as quickly as possible. And then it kind of popped up on the screen the school you got. So yeah, I was super, super pleased and super happy. So what's next for me? And a bit, bit about me and my background. So I've been working in tech broadly for the last eight years. Um, nothing cybersecurity related. So this was completely new. And I wanted to kind of use this as a bit of a introduction, so a stepping stone to future potential opportunities. My kind of personal goal is to be a really well-rounded tech individual. And I feel like cybersecurity now more than ever is super important. So it's really key for me to, yeah, make sure I've got that breadth of knowledge. So I know a bit about products, I know a bit about development. Yeah, I really want you to kind of grow in that separate area. I really enjoyed it so much so that I'm potentially thinking of exploring a career change into that direction. So if, if you're interested in my journey, please do follow along. I hope you've generally found this um, video quite informative. I've tried to keep it quite snappy to allow you to um, kind of get through my tips and tricks quickly and get back to revision or whatever you're doing. If you do have any questions, please pop them down below. I'm more than happy to answer any questions, share anything of my knowledge and yeah, generally help out. Wishing you all the best and I know you're absolutely gonna smash it. Yeah, good luck.